going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Starbase. So, uh, last quick tips thing. I said I had to clear this out like right now because I got like a hundred comments on it. These power cores, these these fuel cores, you can buy from an auction house. Apparently, there's an auction house here, so we're gonna have to go check that out. Um, so, so apparently, you can buy this from there as well as buying them from the other place. Also, they are in the tree. They're in your research tree, so you can actually um, unlock those to craft them as well. But we are gonna do something today. So I went ahead and I made a bunch of, uh, if we go to equipment, I made a bunch of these containers, right? Well, unfortunately, like build mode is just not working for us right now. And it's just not working in general. It's because it, it, with, with, you know, they're being slammed with so many people. Uh, trying to get everything going. There's so many people trying to use the build mode. Uh, they're getting everything worked out. So, you know, it's just, it's early access. It is what it is. We're just going to buy a new ship. We're going to go see if what we can find, what we can afford. We can't afford anything right now, but we're going to do what we can. We're going to go flip the generator on. We're going to turn ourselves around here. And uh, we're going to go see what ship we would want to buy. I actually really like that yellow one, other than the fact that it's yellow. <laughs> I don't really want a yellow one. So we're going to hop down in here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go see what we got. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Uh, let's see. So we've got a ship place there. There's one there. There's one. That's a ship design workshop. These buildings right here also have ships. It's not just this one. But we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna see if I can find one that I like that's within a reasonable price. We're gonna see if we can do enough mining to get to it. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Also, I did manage to get my joystick working. Um, however, I don't believe this game allows for analog inputs, so it's kind of, um, it's kind of wonky because it's, it's basically just like a button press, but, um, all right, let's go see if I can find something that I like. Um, so I'm, I'm looking around at ships and I got, I got, had to, I had to come back and bring you back for this one. This one's kind of funny looking. Uh, it's a recovery ship. It's designed to haul stranded ships. Look at this thing. It's literally just like a car, like a hangar bay. <laughs> like you just come in and grab the ship and then take it home i guess that's so funny that's so funny um but i'm looking through different shipyards there's a ton of different shipyards i'm trying to find something that has a decent amount of cargo that um is like a decent price because we don't have a lot of money so i'm just trying to find like that little happy medium you know see now this is the color scheme that i like but this is all about firepower i'm not but we're not we're, we're trying to mine here we're miners <laughs> Well, what the heck is this one? We have to wait for it to load in. Uh, this is... It's a Zeppelin. It's an event Zeppelin. What the heck? That is so funny. It's literally a Zeppelin. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Let me go find a ship here. See, now you would think this would be my place right here. Uh, Balstar? But I don't think their ships are actually black and red. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not. The hangar looks sick, though. See, now this one's actually looking pretty good. It actually has mining beams on it. Hmm. This one looks pretty good too, but what is the cargo? See, I'd like to know the cargo capacity. Sometimes it says what the cargo capacity is. Um, It says we can test flight it and see what cargo capacity is. And this one's only 160,000, which is kind of cool. And it says it has this, uh, this walk around deck so you can actually walk around mid flight. Which is actually kind of cool. I kind of like it. I like this one and this one right now. So let's see. We got this one here. Or we've got this one over here. But this one is like significant. This is like 500,000. That one's only like 160. Oh yeah, this is 395. Ooh, does the other one have mining beams on it though? This is one has mining moves. I'd love to be able to hop in a ship and just mine from the ship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got some mining moves on it. Okay. Right, I think we're going to go with this one. I think we're going to go with this one. Uh, Can we test flight this? Uh-oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, to enter test flight mode, press F5 or select exit test mode. Oh, to exit. Um, how do I get out of here? I'm stuck inside the ship. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say test flight mode is broken because <laughs> it didn't work. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, this looks like a pretty good little ship. Um, I'd like to uh, I'd like to see how much we got. Let's go see. Let's see what we can get for what we got. Let's see if we can sell some stuff. That looks like a pretty solid ship, I think. Wait, why is my labor module in space? That's weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just sell everything we have and see what kind of money we're sitting at. Uh, we're at 140,000. Are you kidding me? That's insane. We got way more money than I thought we did. Uh, holy moly. Uh, that's crazy. That one that's 500,000 is actually not that far off. Um, uh, the only problem is I'd have to mine a whole bunch to get it. You know what? No, let's let's get the $146,000 one. Let's use that one. Let's get a let's get a handle for the mining beams and then we can always get an upgrade. We don't want to, you know, upgrade too much too fast. Um, I need my ship though. <laughs> oh, also, I did look at these vintage ships too. And this one right here in the middle, I actually really like. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure what this um this cone is for but it looks like a really big hauling ship and i like it so like you got this one right here that's obviously full of cargo crates you got that one that doesn't have any i kind of wish these would render in a little bit further away like these two did but this guy right here i really liked this one are you gonna load in here bud and i also don't know what its main use is i think it's mining but i really like it but it's it's 1.2 million, so maybe that'll be that'll be our next ship right there. That gigantic one. Oh yeah, that's what we need. Ooh, this one's actually not bad. This one's 208. Fitted with 54 cargo crates and a twin pulse mining lasers for fast, efficient mining. Be aware that the endos with any form of epilepsy should avoid using this ship. Skill level intermediate. Ooh, I actually like this one. <gasps> this one has a door. Oh. Those are the generators. We've got storage there and there. Oh, this is cool. Can I get in here? approach cruise beacon range coolant fuel rod one fuel rod two beacon i can't fly this can i like it won't let me no way no oh No, <laughs> it, won't, it won't let me. This is pretty cool. I kind of like this one. I do kind of like the ship. This thing is actually pretty sick. Uh, is there a, where's the, where's the port? Is there a port that I can connect to? Okay, I'm connected to this. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's got a lot of storage here. All right, so let's go make some money. And I'm thinking that that I'm thinking that the other ship, the one we just looked at, might be the one for us. I'm gonna tow this because I don't know where it's at. Where are you? Okay, you're up here. Awesome. Let's go grab some ores. Let's see if we can get up to two hundred eight thousand or like two hundred twenty, just so we can get a little extra. And uh, <laughs> I want to I want to check this thing out. I want to I want to fly it. I want to mine with it. I want to do all of the things. All right, so we're coming back with a load of ore. We've got a bunch of stuff. Um, I think I grabbed what was the most expensive stuff that I could find. For the most part, was this, which is I think it's a vulcarium. I'm not positive. I think this stuff's actually gonna be worth a little bit more because I don't think I've ever even found it. But I grabbed most of that. Um, I'm gonna make a note of how much this stuff's worth per stack, so that way I know for future reference. But if, if it's worth what I'm thinking it might be based off what we just sold, we might have enough for the ship. Ooh, I'm super excited. And I did actually just notice there's planets out there. There's a planet, there's a planet, there's a planet. 
Um, also this warp gate. I don't know what this warp gate's for. I don't know. Can we go to planets? I have no idea. There's another one over there. There's planets all over the place. So we got a lot to learn. What is that? What is that? You see that little pink thing up there? It almost looks like somebody's starting to starbase. That would be super cool. I really want to start a starbase. I want to so bad. But we got to get the research stuff figured out. And right now, you know what? I'm just taking one thing at a time. And the thing in front of us is I need a bigger, better ship. So that's what we're going to mess with. Now, I'm going to go to this pylon here. We're going to unload this ore and hopefully have enough for that red one. <laughs> I want it. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. I don't even remember where it was, though. It was over in one of those deals. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's pop on over there. And we'll see what we can find. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know what the best part about this is? Is that everybody around here? These are all starter ships, right? Everyone, like most of them. There's a few here and there. Like that one is not, I don't think a starter. Uh, no, maybe it is. So like, I'm super excited to get this ship that nobody else has. I haven't seen it flying around yet. It's like, we're going to have that ship. And I'm going, oh, I, can't, I can't wait. All right, we're going to get connected up here. We're going to drop the ore and, oh, I hope we have enough. All right, uh, let's actually click the generator off and let's put our pickaxe away so we don't look like a crazy person and hook up to here. Good to go. And then let's turn our gravity on. Let's hit Q so we can level ourselves out. Ship and okay. So let's see here. A stack. Oh, darn it. The Vocarium is not the expensive stuff. The Vocarium is the cheap stuff. I bet you it was the Bastion. Was the Bastion cheaper? Or the Bastion worth more? No. What was I? What? Oh, oh, it was the Chardium. Charodium. Charodium. Okay, so I guess I'm going to guess that's a full stack. 1728 is a full stack for that. Okay, so let me write this down so I remember. Okay, so I got those noted. Um, actually, you know, what's actually funny is the, um, the, the Nergite stuff that wasn't actually worth as much as I thought it'd be. I thought that was going to be the worth the most, but, uh, no, it is the char charodium or that stuff's worth the most. Okay. Let's sell all this and we'll see how much we have. All right. We're at 185,000. Oh, we need so much. More. Actually, I mean, we made what 35,000 off that trip. So not bad, not bad at all. Uh, okay. Another trip. So I am learning which rocks to mine and which one's not to um this one right here looks like it's gonna be a char charodium so the asteroid color itself kind of determines what's inside and i think this color right here yep look at that there's a char charodium right there that is what i'm trying to grab so there's like um like a blue shell which is like ice and that usually has the um the volcarium in it and then there's like a, a red shell that usually has the bastium in it. Bast bastium. That is usually in there. And then, oh, my inventory is already full. I'll look at that. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm slowly trying to like, what the heck? I don't want this. I don't want this. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get my inventory full of this. Because this stuff, like I said, this stuff's worth 5,400 a stack. So this is what's going to make us some money here. Now I do, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that things also depend on how far out you are because we're 18 kilometers out of, um, from origin 21. And now there's a lot more of this, uh, this, this chart chardonium stuff. Wait, no inventory. Um, okay. So I don't want this and I want to find, let's find one more, one more one more rock of this and then we'll head back and sell. And we should, we should be good here. Because we're at 185,000, so if these are all five, so 85, 90, 95, 200, 205, 210. Yeah, we should be way good. Way good. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and turn. And let's go find ourselves another rock. It is hard. It is kind of hard to tell the color of the rock sometimes, because like if you're on the shadow side, they all look the same. I kind of wish there was more lights. Oh, 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 what's this? Uh, yeah, what's this guy right here? So that's like a bluish one. So that's not what we're looking for. But that one right there, that one right there is probably going to be a winner. Because, like, see how that's like a bluish outside? That's like an ice. That's ice outside. 
This is probably what we're looking for. Yes, it is. Ha 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 ha. We're getting better. All right, we're good. We're rolling out. Look at all of this. So like I said, this should all be worth 5,000 a pop. <laughs> money, money, money. Oh, I'm so excited. Why am I slowly pulling sideways? This is weird. Why am I slowly pulling to the side here? Something damaged? Why am I not flying straight? What's going on here? Why don't you like me? We should be playing. We should be flying perfectly straight. Let me see if I need to pull out my repair tool. What is my repair tool? Do I not have a repair tool on me? I don't think I even have a repair tool on me. Wow. I don't think I have a repair tool on me. I don't know what's going on. Ship is like it's like drifting. It's like flying off to one side. Wonder if uh, I messed something up. Oh well. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, you know what? I think it was my weight. Yep, it was my weight. This was on this side. And as you see it, we're drifting over now. But if I put it in the central spot, it stopped. That's weird. It must, it must be like, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, it's, I understand. If the weight, if there's weight more on one side than the other, that's okay. Okay. All right, we're coming in with our uh, hopefully our final load of ore for the ship. Um, my generator, look at my fuel chamber. <laughs> it's getting very, very low indeed. We're going to pull up here. And I'm pulling up to this one because the ship that I want, I think, is right there. So hopefully everything will go swimmingly. And we can get and purchase our new ship for today. So, I mean, money making is not too bad actually i mean because i spent um i don't know i i would say probably well including the first or the first hundred and fifty thousand, i would say i probably spent maybe an hour and a half two hours of like mining to get two hundred thousand. so i mean it's not too bad and we're like we're using the starter ship so it's very capable and uh yeah hopefully it only gets better from there so like now when i get this other ship um can we have our Grab boots on, hit Q to rotate, ship, and then look at that. Oh, yeah, they're all 5,000. Or a lot of them are 5,000. Heck, yes, let's sell them. And we are at $286,000 or whatever money we are. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit despawn on the ship. We're going to jump down here. And we're gonna go buy we're gonna go buy our ship now i'm buying it it's from the vintage ships which is kind of crazy because i actually like the vintage ships this one right here i really like and that red one right there i really like so i'm like super excited about this <laughs> i'm so excited now i know what people are gonna say they're like well you could have just saved up and bought a bigger one i want to get a smaller one to start with i want to buy this one and then utilize this one because this one has like lasers and mining stuff on it um i want to utilize this one before we go up to something bigger because like that is huge this is way bigger than this like this going from that to this is gonna be a huge difference but going from that to that's gonna be a huge difference like we're talking like completely different size ships here so this is the one this is the one and this one has a lot more storage capacity, 208,000. Oh my gosh. Buy it. Transaction failed. Instant. Oh, you have to have the materials as well? Oh. You have to have the materials as, as well as that is, oh my gosh. So we have to have all of these materials in order to even, are you kidding me? 13 stacks of Volcarium, 1.8 stacks of that, Carnite, Ice, 5 stacks of Ice, Exorium, I've never even seen that, Bastion, oh no. See, I was, so what I was assuming, this is this was my thinking, assembly cost, 286. 
I was assuming that it would be cheaper if you had materials. Oh, no. Well, I guess now you know. You can't just buy the ship. You have to have the materials along with it. Darn. Okay, so I guess now I know what I need. Um, I don't know what this Kutonium ore is. Apparently, I need to go out and just 21 stacks of Bastium ore. 20 stacks of the Chard Chardonium, which is what I just sold, basically. Oh my gosh. So, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious now. So, a ship this size probably requires... So, like, it's 1.2 million for the assembly, but... Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at all the crazy ores that you need for this. 100 stacks of Bastium ore. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I thought we were going to get this one. Okay, so... Looks like I'm going to be spending some time getting these ores together it actually doesn't look too bad um the chardonium i mean i i think our ship hmm i really wish i could add more inventory to our ship because i think our ship capacity is probably i want to say we could probably have 20 stacks on our ship so i mean so that's one trip two trips at least two trips uh three four so like four or five trips back and forth you know dropping stuff off so total for uh 86.5 stacks hmm yeah yeah this is the one that i want though this is the one i think this is the next ship for us for sure because it's just it looks it looks nice it looks nice and you know what i think also one thing that makes me excited is it has a button <laughs> that you could go inside uh and then there's there's uh there's our generators we have three generators which is kind of crazy a couple of those guys um i don't know what i don't know what half this stuff is i think these are hard points pretty sure which is where stuff's mounted um we've got all kinds of buttons uh hold on let's turn this off door lights headlamp Uh, is the headlamp on? Oh yeah, there's a headlamp on. Range? What? Beacon. Cruise. Approach? Um, collect? Laser. Whoa! Oh, 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 that's so cool. Lights. Oh, interior lights, exterior lights. And then door. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want it so bad. All right. Well, I know what I got to be. Uh, I'm going to be working on some stuff here because I want to get this ship and I, I want it so bad. So we're going to have to make it happen. Um, Let's go ahead and get out of here. Super, super cool though. But yes, that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, hopefully, next episode, we will have this stuff. I think I'm going to have to just sit here and uh, I'm going to have to go grab this stuff. I think everything will be fine. Except I'm not 100% sure on some of these. I think some of them are the exterior portion of the, um, of the node. So... Um, I'll probably just start at like the top and just work my way down or just go out and collect everything until I have something and then stop collecting that. I don't know. We'll see. But yes, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you guys are interested in Starbase, the link down below. Now, please keep in mind it is an early access game. It is buggy. A whole bunch of stuff going on with it. It is what it is. But yes, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.